Nada. Nada. <laughs> Hi, Simba. All right, guys. We finally have the stream room video. Um, I'm just going to do one big recording, and uh, I'm not going to edit this or anything. I'm just upload it straight to the YouTube. A lot of people have been asking about this for a while, and uh, I'm finally getting to it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cover everything in the entire stream room, and then uh, put in the description all the links of where you guys can purchase this. So starting off in the back, this is the backdrop for my webcam. We have a bunch of lights on the bottom, the two bookshelves that we got from IKEA, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, got some Cloud9 flags. We got a couch here, and in the front we have the two desks that I use, the PCs, the monitors, the lights, and the camera. But I'll start off in the back. Uh, we'll start with the lights, and on the back of the bookshelf, I have these LED strips that I got from Amazon. Like I said, I'll put all the links in the info section. Oh yeah, we got the dog bed and a whole bunch of dog toys. So if you guys hear squeaking, that's because they, either they're chewing on it or I'm walking on it. Uh, but yeah, on the back of each of the of the bookshelves, we have LED strips. Uh, this is just like a USB powered LED strip that you plug on, or that can, you can stick on the back of the bookshelf, and you can change the colors with with these remotes over here. Um, on the ground, I have four of these these floodlights. They're just like 20 watt floodlights that plug into uh, a basic plug, and what else could I mention here? Um, the most, or the coolest thing is I have in the wall here, all these little white plugs. These are, uh, these are Wi-Fi. crap, I can't remember. They're smart plugs, they're smart plugs. So what you can do is I hooked up these smart plugs to this, uh, whatchamacallit, extension cord strip thing. So anything that's plugged into this same as on that side. Uh, I connected it to an Amazon Echo Dot right here. And then that's connected to my phone. So I can use voice control and I can turn off all the lights uh, or all the power in this entire room. Or anything that's plugged into that, I can turn it on and off with voice control. And that's pretty important because if you don't do that, that means every time that you leave the room, you have to turn off every light individually. So there's six lights here and then whatever else I have, I'd have to turn it off individually. Um, what are you doing, Simba? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> He's like, what's going on back there? So yeah, that's really nice. Um, I'll have links to that in the description, like I said before. Um, anything else back here? No, that's pretty much it. Um, on the back wall, we have the standard Cloud9 flag. That's the old edition. And right here on the, on the couch, we have the new edition. And the cool thing about this one right here is it's reversible, so you can get like the blue Cloud9 and the white background on the other side. Uh, right here, we just have a regular, it's a Twitch blanket you can get on Amazon. Really soft, I just wanted a blanket in here just in case I was chilling or my girlfriend's chilling. Um, then the couch I got from Walmart. It's a futon couch and it's actually pretty cool. You can you can low, raise and lower the armrests, uh, same as the back. You can lay it down flat or you can set it up straight. And on top of it, I just have like a dog, uh, a dog like topper so it doesn't get all dirty. Um, it's just a standard like futon. Not very expensive, it was like $150, which is really, really affordable for a decent, decent futon couch. Um, so in the bookshelves at the top left, we have this is BlizzCon. Um, whenever you go to BlizzCon, they give you like a, a package with a whole bunch of stuff inside. So that'd be cool. I thought it'd be cool to put there. Up here, we have the Overwatch figures. These are the Overwatch Ultimates. These are sent to me by um, Blizzard as like a, you know, like a promotional thing to showcase them. So that's pretty dope. I have some right there and then I have some more over here. And I think I actually have a couple more, but I, I kind of ran out of space. Uh, right here, I have the Overwatch Lite, which I bought from a store called Think Geek, and I heard that's actually a really popular store online, but we actually have a store near me, so we just go to that every now and then. Uh, under that, I have a Junkrat painting. Uh, this I bought this on Fiverr, I think. No, maybe not Fiverr. Uh, maybe, no, Etsy. On Etsy, and it was only like $15. It was pretty cheap, so I thought it looked really, really cool. I've had that for like three years now, a really long time. 
Under that, I have a Twitch pillow that I got from Amazon. And at the very bottom, we have another promotional thing that Blizzard sent me. It's one of the Lego Nerf guns, or not Lego, <laughs> one of the Nerf guns for Overwatch. This is the McCree one. And I think I have another one uh, somewhere. It's probably be in my closet over here. Oh yeah, there's a Diva one right here. And I think I have a Torb one back there too. Yep, that's the Diva one, and then the Torb one is right there. Uh, and then the bookshelves themselves, I bought that from Ikea. Only like $30 each, but they're perfect for, the, for this kind of backdrop. Over on this side, we have, this is one of the Overwatch um, Ultimates, but this is the biggest one. This is the Reinhardt, and it comes with the shield. And then on the left and right, I have some Funko Pops. So Reinhardt uh, was one of my favorite tanks, uh, along with Hammond. So I really like Reinhardt. And I also have some other Funko Pops down here, which is the Doom, the Junk, the Genji, and the Ana. You guys know I like projectile characters. Um, oh yeah, we have some more ult Overwatch Ultimates back there too. We have the Lucio and the, and the Reaper. Uh, but Ana is my favorite support, so I got that. And Junkrat and Genji are my favorite DPS. Right here we have the uh, Lion King, like Simba, Nala, uh, stuffed animals. I got these at Disney when I went with my girlfriend. I thought it would look cool in the backdrop. Then we have just a basic Twitch cup. Just some cool stuff to look at um, on stream. Got a Cloud9 hat, Cloud9 plushie. Uh, plushie. And then well, this is one of the, the Lego sets that I set up. It's a diva one, but Simba always knocks it down, so I usually just leave it. <laughs> like he runs over here and puts his nose on it and knocks it over. So I, I set that up on stream. That was pretty cool. All right, so that's everything for the back. Let me look at the front now. We have the Secret Labs Cloud9 chair. When I signed to Cloud9, Secret Labs is one of our sponsors, so they sent me one of those. And this is the best chair I've ever used. It is actually insane. It's really, you can like do a whole bunch of stuff with it. You can uh, lay down flat if you want to. It has like a really comfortable pillow here. Um, the seat cushion is insanely comfortable. It's really wide. Uh, it's just a really nice chair. And the embroidery is fucking insane, dude. Like, look at, Look at the embroidery on this, it's so sick. Yeah, anyways, enough talking about chair. Uh, I'll start on the left side here. Um, we have some simple, some simple like camera photography lights. So it lights up the background as well as my face. And I just have these on some tripods that I got on Amazon. Um, over here, we have the Echo Dot that I told you about. This is only used for the voice control for the lights because I can go like, Hey Alexa, turn off the lights. And everything in the entire room will turn off. Hey Alexa, turn on the lights. And then they'll all turn back on. So like I said, this is really, really helpful for when I'm done streaming or starting to stream. Um, we have a wireless keyboard with a, a mouse pad on it because I use a program for my two PC setup that allows me to use one mouse and keyboard I use one mouse and keyboard for both PCs. So if that ever breaks or whatever, I have this I can pull out to um, use my other PC. Um, what else we got here? Same thing as before, These uh, the smart plug. Uh, this connects to the lights over here. I don't have it connected to my PCs or anything like that. I leave that alone. Um, internet, whole bunch of cords. You guys can tell that I take really good care of my, of my cord cord uh, clean, cleaning back here, looks mint condition. I saw a YouTube guide how I can like make it look all flawless and, and out of sight. All right, so the PCs, um, this PC right here was my first PC and I bought this from one of those uh, online retailers that just like, they pre-built PCs for you and sent it to you because I, I was really new to PC. I didn't want to build my own and I wanted to just like, you know, just have them send it to me and I have to, don't have to worry about insurance or anything. So I did that. Uh, one of my sponsors, Omen by HP, does this. So if you guys want to check out a, something like that, you can check them out. Um, then this PC was the first PC I built, which is my stream PC. So this one's my game PC, and this one's my stream PC. And I actually built this one on stream with the help of Twitch chat, which was actually pretty nuts, but uh, pretty cool. I'm not going to cover everything that's in it. I'll just put the, the list to the parts if you guys want to see in the description. Um, what else we got here? We got the Dogo Cam. This is the dog cam. It faces this way, so if they're ever at the dog bed or laying on the couch, you guys can see that. 
Um, uh, that's pretty much it. So I can start going over the 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 gaming stuff. I guess down here, uh, just to cover real quick, I have a, a battery backup and surge protector, just in case we get struck by lightning or whatever. It can help protect help protect my my monitors and my PCs and stuff. Um, this is just a simple like foot cushion that helps because I play for a really long time, so it, it definitely helps. And yeah, I'll just start with the with the other PC spec stuff. So I had Astro when I was on console like a long time ago, and I brought that to PC. But now that I'm sponsored by Cloud9, I use the HyperX Cloud9 Edition um, headset. So this is the Cloud Alpha, and it's the most comfortable headset I've ever wore. I love this headset, and I highly recommend it. Uh, but since I use a two PC setup, I still use this mix amp. And this is connected to my Go XLR, which is a another mixer that can help do a whole bunch of different functionalities on stream, like raise and lower volume of, of my PCs. I can do a voice changer and just helps helps a lot in general with the audio situation on a two PC setup. Um, my camera, so I use a, I don't use a standard webcam, I used to, which was this one right here but I upgraded a long time ago to a really expensive mirrorless camera. Uh, so this is just a standard camera that you can turn into a webcam using uh, the Elgato Cam Link, which is a pretty cool device, which is basically where you just have the camera set up, you plug a cord into the Cam Link, and then you plug the Cam Link into your PC and it just turns it into a webcam. So my webcam now is insanely high quality and I love it. It's one of the best things that, that I've upgraded on my stream that I really, really like. Um, what else can I talk about the, I think that covers all that. So the keyboard, uh, this is one of my sponsored keyboards from HyperX. This keyboard is sick. It's mechanical. It feels really, really nice. And like I said, I am sponsored, but I like this keyboard a lot regardless. Like even if I ever leave Cloud9 or HyperX becomes not a sponsor, I'll still use it. Um, we have the stream, stream link. This is really, really, really helpful. It's kind of like having a second mini keyboard with pictures on it that you can do different things like change scenes on stream. You can change music, you can pause music, you can mute your microphone, you can add and remove sources on stream. You can create Twitch clips if you want to. It's just really, really helpful. There's a lot of, a lot of different possibilities. I highly recommend that if you are getting into streaming, especially if you have a two PC setup. Um, Cause I wouldn't be possible with only one keyboard. I'd have to get another keyboard. Um, the monitors itself, uh, this is a 240Hz monitor that I use for gaming. Um, this is a standard, I think these are standard 144Hz monitors. Um, this is my chat monitor, so like anytime I stream I have my Twitch chat on that. And this is just my stream PC monitor that everything else is on. I like my OBS and, and whatever, like my Spotify, stuff like that. Um, I would recommend, honestly, I'd recommend four monitors if you have a two PC setup, but I don't really have a lot of space, so I just use three. Uh, the second monitor would be from my game PC if I ever have like multiple games running or whatever, then I can move it over. So that's the only change that I would recommend from my setup. The, uh, I just have a standard mouse. Um, I do have a HyperX mouse that I use as well. And then I have a HyperX uh, mouse pad. I use a really, really, really large mouse pad because, uh, why not, dude? Like, just, the worst thing gaming would be running out of mouse space, so just use a really large one. Oh yeah, this thing's really big too. I've been using this for like four years. It's, a, it's just a simple bean bag that you use for a wrist, and it helps so much, because if you're gaming for long hours and your wrist is just sitting on a hard surface, uh, it starts to hurt after a while, so I have a bean bag that I rest my wrist on. Um, other than that, I have a microphone. This is a... Uh, what do you call this? Is it XLR? No, not XLR. It's a... I can't remember what type of microphone this is called, but you guys will know. Uh, someone will comment. Um, but this is a, a really high quality audio microphone. HyperX does make one, but they don't have the same... Um, they don't have the same plug thing that this is. I can't remember what this is called. They have a USB one, which is really, really nice. It's called a Quadcast. I definitely highly recommend you guys check that out. But I don't have that because my PC setup situation is is way different, so I just use that that microphone instead. Um, I think that pretty much covers everything, though. Hi, Simba.
<laughs> He's always just chilling down here. Uh, yeah, I think it pretty much covers everything. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the the comment section, and I'll try to reply to you. If not, you can join my Discord and chat with everyone in there and ask questions on there. Or stop by my stream. I stream almost every single day, so feel free to come by and say hello. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the cool thing I mentioned before was with the these uh, remotes, I can change the colors. So with my colors, I have like blue on the side for Cloud9, and then in the middle I have a purple for like Twitch and uh, separate colors a little bit. Uh, also, these don't flash in, in, in person. It's just because of the camera that I'm using, and that's why it flashes. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream room video. I didn't want to do uh, I didn't want to do like a highly edited video. I just wanted to do a simple recording and um, just do like a one one take recording of everything, just to walk through it. And if you guys enjoyed it, let me know what you think. Uh, I've been thinking about doing some like dog videos lately, or maybe some small IRL vlog stuff or something. I don't know. So let me know what you guys think of of change of pace. And uh, hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.